Hello. How's it going, everybody? Um, <coughs> I am six minutes early. I do like to start early. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little bit in my throat. Um, I do like to start early if I can, just because, you know, then I can finish a little bit early. Um, so we are here in Pokemon Platinum. If you recall, the last time we spoke, we, excuse me, we, hold on one second. You can still hear me sitting back down. Here I am. Hello. Let me go back here and hi. Um, if you recall, last time we were here, we were defeating the Heart Home City Gym. But why, might you ask, why pray tell, are we over here back by Floroma Town? Um, hello, Lugia. Good to see you. Um, there is a special event in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and, is, and it is how you encounter the ghost-type Pokemon Drifloon. And if you come on Fridays, you can see him right there. He will be waiting in front of the Valley Windworks. It is so cool. I love a good, like, lore-based static encounter. It's so, so cool. So every Friday, a Drifloon will show up here, and we are going to try to catch this one. Mm. Level 15. I have Inclusion here. We'll see if one wing attack kills it. I don't think it will. Ah, Kidnapper. Absolutely, that sounds like a good idea. Will this kill it? Okay, good. <clears throat> we are doing pretty well. So, Brody mentioned the name Kidnapper. And the reason we would name our Drifloon Kidnapper is because it famously, like, steals children away. It, like, lures them away, like, into the Shadow Realm or whatever. We'll probably figure that out in a Pokedex entry when we catch this thing. Um, we'll just throw another Pokeball. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! All right, so here we're going to go for a different strat. We'll get breakfast in here. We'll put it to sleep. <laughs> um, so, how was everybody's day? My day was kind of hard, actually. Um, I had one of my, um, one of my friends at school did not have a very good day, and it made me pretty sad. Um, so, I was a little bit bummed earlier at work, and... Now, I am very, very excited for the weekend. Very excited to be here, chilling with you guys. Oh, there we go. Didn't even need to put it to sleep. Um, let's see. <laughs> I understand. No, uh, Drifloon's gonna be boxed. Because I was considering using... Okay, here we go. Because of the way it floats aimlessly, an old folktale calls it a signpost for wandering spirits. So that didn't say anything about it. Um... But Drifloon is very much kind of like a wandering spirit, spooky Pokemon. Uh, Kidnapper, we wanted to call this bad girl. Kidnapper. Boom. Make a separate. Oh. <laughs> I see. You know what, Brody? For you, I will. Let's see. Um, let's pop back here to Floroma Town. All right. So, really love Drifloon, even though... We'll go to box three. And we're gonna name... We'll name this box Prison, just like you requested, Brody. Perfect. Uh, okay, and we still have some of our other Pokemon in here. We have Rotom in here, Reggie the Rotom. Um, Alright, so 
I really wanted to show you that because I was just like, oh, perfect. I am going to be streaming on a Friday, which I don't you won't normally do. Um, so let me go do this special Drift Loon event. It's a lot like the Lapras event that we encountered um, when we played Pokemon Crystal. But for now, let me pop that repel, get through this grass, um, and we will go back up here because we have to make our way back to Heart Home City. Um, I did have to run kind of a long way to get back here. I did that before the stream started, but um, we'll be able to pop back over in no time. Oops, I forgot to grab this item over here. Oh, hello! Oh, subscribe for two months! Amazing! That is incredible! Um, yes, I'm doing very well. Thank you for being here. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I was just saying how I had kind of a tough day at work, so I'm pretty excited to um, be streaming Platinum for y'all. Um, let me go ahead and pop on my bike. How are you doing? Let's see. Let's go all the way down. Hooray. So we can... Mm, let's pop over here for a second. Because we'll get into some stuff. We can... Uh, we'll do a repel here. I'm pretty sure this is the part of the game where you can find Gligar. Um, let's see. A uh, rough few weeks at work. Oh, man. I, I Again, I, I tell you. I... It's... Sorry to hear that, dog leg. Um, sorry, I saw this item down here. I wanted to pick it up. Um... Yeah, for the most part, it's been okay. Today was a was atypically tough. I um, just not something that I'm used to recently. Uh, let's see. Here we have a couple hikers that we're gonna take care of. I thought it'd be a good time to just go ahead and fight them while we were here. Um, get a few levels on breakfast, but of course I'll swap, swap train with Autumn. against an onyx here. One absorb should do the trick, honestly. There we go. <laughs> uh, yes, we're gonna swap train again. Let's see. It is nice to catch that level back on breakfast. Oops, not quite. There we go. Let's see. Ah, yes, traveling, that is tough on the family, for sure. I, uh, you know, for several years, I was acting in a musical in different spots around the country, and it was really tough on my wife and I. Um, so I definitely get that, dude. Okay, we just have the one super repel. All right. So, there's a few things here I want to point out. Um, we will do one cute thing here, if I can do it. So, this uh, entrance right here is to a place called Wayward Cave. It's an optional area here in Generation 4. We are not going to go in that entrance, however. We, if I can remember where it is, there's a secret entrance under the cycling road. And here you need flash um, to see right in there. But if you come down here, this is actually the place where you can catch the Pokemon Gibble, which is the new pseudo legendary Pokemon in this game. And very, very powerful if you want to use it in a playthrough. Um. All right, so we are going to catch a Gibble just for just for the giggles because again, Brody, you are trying to uh, guess what our team is going to be, and I'm going to try to I'm going to try to throw you off balance. We're actually we're not going to use a Gibble, but I do want to catch one. Uh, and there's some cool um, <laughs> old Gibby. <laughs> Gibby will be the name. I love that. Um, I want to keep you on your toes as to what our squad is going to be. 
Um, and there's a lot of mock bike or bike in general puzzles in this game. And here's Gibby. Here's Gibby. Um, all right. All right, let's see if you can live a wing attack like Drifloon. You can. Mm. Let's get breakfast in here. Put it to sleep. Um, so yeah, this is Gibble. Gibble is a great Pokemon. Um, again, I didn't want to use it because I know a lot of people would probably use this in their Platinum playthroughs. Again, I will always want to keep you on your toes. Um... Let's see, we don't have a ton of Pokeballs here. Alright, so nothing there. Ooh, Dragon Rage, that is tough. That's gonna do 40 HP every time, which is a lot. Um, alright, I'm gonna try a Great Ball, see how we do here. It probably would be good to weaken it a little bit more. There it is, perfect. Putting it to sleep did the trick. Um, lovely, so there is Gibble. And we will call this Gibble Gibby. <laughs> it attacks using its huge mouth while it attacks, while its attacks are powerful, it hurts itself out of clumsiness too. It's just a, just a clumsy little fella. Um, so this will be Gibby. Perfection. Um, <laughs> oh, I feel you, Brody. Um, all right, so we're gonna, we are going to do the bike puzzle in here, um, which is neat. We can pop right up there. So this is something I kind of talked about earlier. If you are in the first gear and you go over one of these little ramps, you'll only go one tile. But if you are in the second gear and you go over one of these little ramps, Zoo! You'll go over both tiles. Um, so that's how you get over certain stacks of rocks or jump before certain stacks of rocks, if that makes any sense. Um, so here I kind of messed up. So I, let's see, there we go. There we go, that's how you get to that item. A max ether, love to see it. Um, but if you wanna go to the next part, if you go to first gear, then you can just hop down to this area. So that's how you access the other areas. There we go. Love this little mock bike side quest here. Oh, dang it. Um, yeah, so that's a tough one. You gotta make sure you don't accidentally hop over that ledge. All right, another gibble which is okay, let's pop another repel. I use the super repel. Perfect. Um, great. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah, yes, let's go here so I can grab this. Uh -huh. Ooh, a grip claw. I'm pretty sure that is an item that you need to uh, trade with another Pokemon to help it evolve. Um, one of the new Generation 4 evolutions. There we go. Rare candy, love to see it. Alright, one more repel hopefully can do us, get us out of here. Alright. Here we got a... There we go. Uh, and this will get us to an item. The Earthquake TM! Oh, baby! That is a crazy huge reward for doing this bike puzzle. I honestly forgot that was there. That is crazy good. Um, so we will probably be using that at a later date. Um, that was sick. Um, let's see. Oh, the Grip Claw helps steal items? Well, let's have a look-see. Woo. Um, a Pokemon hold item that extends the duration of multi-turn attacks like bind and wrap. Okay, I forgot about that. 
it might still help a Pokemon evolve. Someone look that up for me. I don't remember. Um, all right, so we are back. So again, that's the secret entrance to Wayward Cave. We're not gonna go into the other entrance because there's a whole other thing that I don't want to do this episode. Um, we might come back and do it. That could be a fun thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe I do want to do it this episode. I don't know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling frisky. Um, let's get... Ugh. There's that Gliger we were talking about. Um, Gliger is another very popular Generation 4 Pokemon pick. Um, but I didn't want to use Gliger because... Uh, for reasons that you'll see. All right, so I'm popping back to Orberg City here because I want to grab some repels. I'm hope hoping I can buy some. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, we got super repels. Let's go, baby. Let's just get 20 of these bad boys. I'm grabbing an escape rope. Yes, indeedy. We'll get, a, we'll get two revives. And then a couple supers. And then some great balls. Um, <laughs> it's very funny because Gliger is Generation 2. Um, another one of those Pokemon you don't see very much in Generation 2. Um, but Gliger gets a new evolution here in Generation 4. Um, one of the many, 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 many Pokemon that do. Um, let's see. So, getting that Earthquake TM in Wayward Cave was a great thing. Again, I didn't, um, I forgot that that was there. I see now, Brody, that you said something about it. Um, excuse me. Oops. There we go. All right. We are going to do this. Um, but again, I wanted to grab more, um, repels before we went, because to do this, do we need flash for this? I don't recall. We'll see. Ah, maybe we do. We can teach Flash to a Pokemon I'm not dying to. Um, because this is a completely optional area. Um, let's see. Sometimes I'm always looking in these rocks for items. Ugh, oh, yes. Oh boy. Pikachu the Eevee. Ah, there's an item. It's a green shard. Probably not going to use that. All right, Eevee, you're killing me. Need something over level 20. There we go. So as we continue... In here, there is something that we're going to encounter. I am so interested to do this without Flash. Um, I don't think I need to, I think I remember. And I just bought an escape rope, so once I get out of here, that is what we will be using. All right, let's see. What's everybody's weekend plan so far? Ooh, okay. So as you see, there was a double battle there. I don't want to do that just yet. Okay, I think I know. I think I know what I'm doing now. Um, let me go up. I'm being real stubborn. 
I'm not even looking up the the strategy guide, man. Um, <laughs> nothing, just nothing. I feel you. Oh, an item. Ah, there's there's another escape rope. Love it. Um, so let's see if I can find this. Am I going to have to bite the bullet and teach something Flash? Another double battle. Oh, yeah. That, uh... I'm not above it. If we... If I get too lost... <laughs> I can... I will certainly look up a map if I get too lost. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna look up a map. Um, let's see... Alright, let's do this. Let's do this, man. Alright. All right, so it looks like I, I've got two trainers right here. Okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna no scope this place. It's gonna be awesome. I promise it's gonna be cool eventually. Uh, so I gotta keep going all the way to the end, and then I gotta go down here. And then I hit that wall. And then I keep keep on going down till I hit this wall. Great. And now. Yep, that's a dead end. Alright, here we go. <laughs> So this is not something I do very often. All right, here we are going to find, once I do this rock, here we should find, drum roll please. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so here she is. This is Myra or Mira. Um, I was catching Pokemon and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please take me to the exit. This is a completely optional thing that we don't have to do. This is much like um, the time that we had with Cheryl in Eterna Forest. So again, this is completely optional. We don't have to do this. So we are going to help Myra or Mira get out of Wayward Cave, which I'm excited about. We're going to do some double battles. Love it. Um, oh, what's up, Cry? How's it going? Um, we're doing a little optional area here um, in today's episode. I want to fight some double battles with Mita. And one thing that I really like about her... Hmm, hmm. I absolutely will not be telling Kidnapper that we found a child. Um, one thing that I love about her... Got a gibble is that she has a Kadabra, level 26 even, so she's pretty good. She's no slouch, is our friend Mira. Oh, baby. All right, we're brewing a sandstorm. Um, hopefully I can get some levels on our friend Pikachu here. Um, oh, boy. Should be faster than a Gibble. Oh, you're going to hit it in first. Um, don't have a lot of good options for a Bronzor. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually really happy that we're doing a lot of the Wayward Cave stuff. Um, especially this one part I just never do. And I love, I love the double battle stuff um, that they have. 
in this game. Oh, whoa. We just used the signature move of a new legendary Pokemon in this game, so that's freaking sick. It's even got that coverage move, baby. There we go. You know, she should know that Kadabra can learn Flash, but oh well. All right, let's see. Um, let me figure out where we're going. Because we got to do a few of these doubles. Oops, can't go that way. And I know some of these that we're probably supposed to avoid. This should be, or maybe it's not. Oh no, that's where I just was. Oh no. I don't know, my map doesn't feel entirely up to date here. Okay, here we go. Um, all right, we'll do, we'll do a couple more and then we'll get Mira out of here. Cause I don't know if she gives us a, a reward. She might. She very well might. Yeah, this is a real, this is a real side quest episode. Um, let's sweet kiss something and then we'll just get out of here with breakfast. I guess I couldn't. Pikachu it is. That Kadabra shockwave is just wrecking these fools. Alright, well, I'll go back anyway. Boom, just annihilating. This Kadabra can just destroy everything that it touches. Um, it's incredible. Ugh, guys, one thing that we are gonna see in a later Pokemon game, and it is killing me right now, is the, when you run out of repels in other Pokemon games, it will just ask if you want to use another one. And that was just a godsend of an addition uh, when they decided to finally do that. Um, all right, I want to get Eevee in the front. Because Eevee needs to get to level 21. Um, so that way... Oh, it's a tiny mushroom. That's fine. Um, Eevee needs to get to level 21 so we can put it in the front of our party. Oh, okay. Okay. There's one other thing in this cave we can grab that's pretty cool. <laughs> Every time I send out Pikachu, I get confused. There we go. Uh-oh, don't kill me, please. Wow. A five-turner, but Pikachu is resilient. Love to see it. Um... Alright. I know breakfast is the MVP. There's a nice revive. Love to see it. Oops. I feel like. Oh, I guess the thing I'm the map I'm looking at is just wrong. Excuse me. What else is new? Alright. Yeah, we in this we in this community, we all know that uh I'm not too proud for a map. Um, great. All right, looks like we have one more double battle here in Wayward Cave, and then we'll be able to help our friend out of here. Ah, uh, yes. My guess is that she's going to shockwave that Kadabra, or, or just uh, confusion it, the Staravia, rather. Um... 
You know what? You're probably right. Breakfast is so good. Oh, boy. Okay, we might be in trouble here, gang. Um, cannot let Kadabra die. Well, okay, they only have one more Pokemon here. Um, I will get rid of Helping Hand, because I literally never, ever use that move. All right, Kadabra is done, but that's okay. Yes, get that crit, quick attack. More like crit attack. <laughs> All right, baby. Yeah, again, this is the side quest episode, and I'm very happy about it. Um, there is an item down here, allegedly. Let me bust this boulder. Yes, the TM4 Double Team. Definitely not as good as the TM4 Earthquake, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a good little, uh, good little thing to have if we need it. Okay. All right, this should be our this should be our last double battle here, if I'm correct. Let's save the game. Saving a lot, of course. Ah, uh, the double hiker. So I might be swapping in Grodel here. Um, so what do I have going on this weekend? I am watching some soccer games. Um, my nieces are playing soccer this weekend, and it'll be nice. Um, sometimes it's good to just have a nice, some nice family time. Um, nothing too crazy. All right, Grodel to 25. Love to see it. Oh, there is... That's so weird. Mira's Kadabra literally knows Flash. Yet she is lost in the dark cave and it's not lit up. What is going on? Um, that is so funny. Also, she could have just used confusion and we would have won. Um, and again, like um, Cheryl, who I love, um, Mira will keep our party nice and healed as we make our way through Wayward Cave. Okay, cool, I can't go this way. So let's go back around the bend here. Oop, not even there. Um, yes. We're going this way. All right, we should be here, roughly? Let's pop that repel. Ah, yes, we have made it to the end. So now Mira says, there's the exit. I want to get tougher so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Bye-bye, thank you. Ah, and that's it. It's just a delightful little side quest. You don't have to do it at all, but it is really fun. And there's a nice TM in there, if you want to grab that. I'm glad I could show that to you all. Um. Perfection. And again, to think I was just doing this, I was well on my way back to Heart Home City where we already were. And now we have this whole other <laughs> over half an hour side quest. All right. So there's an item over there that we can't quite get yet. We'll need some surf or uh, whatchamacallit, rock climb action. So here we are, back in Heart Home City. I am going to get some more repels. Because um, we used a ton there in Wayward Cave. We'll get eight more. All right. And the squad is all healed up because uh, Mira was great to us. Um, let's see here. So... I do want to point out, there is another route down here, um, and we could go this way, but there are these two TV reporters in the way, and they're telling us that the Selassian Town ruins are really interesting. So that is the game telling us, go the other way. So we're going this way. Ah, yes, I can finally exit out of my little cheat sheet there. 
Um, ba do 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 ba da do do ba. <laughs> and for those of you that have stuck with us, this is where we were at the end of last episode. Um, so we're really taking our sweet time, but I'm enjoying it. Um, do 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 do. I'm really excited. One, for our team to kind of get rounded out. We still have quite a few members to pick up. Um, and there's some that I've never used before. Quite a few, actually. Um, but they're, you, you pick them up a little more in the mid-game. A lot of our team we're picking up a little later in the game. Um, so let's see here. That is great for Pikachu. Bonds lie. Let's get... We'll just get Ottoman here. <laughs> hey, you know what, Brody? I appreciate people watching at all. But they would have missed a delightful little side quest. I'll just tell them that. Ooh, Eevee, nice. Um, we'll get breakfast in here. Hit him with the on uh, Nightmare. Oh, that would have been great to hit when it was asleep. Okay. I am really genuinely excited for Breakfast to get a real attacking move. I mean, I could have used a TM on it by now, but you know. I'm feeling, I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh... Give it a sweet kiss, and then we'll swap out, because this is annoying me a lot. Hey, and I'm back to full health. There we go. Hopefully that does it. Perfect. Pichu! Um, Pikachu against Pichu. You love it. Love to see it. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually going to be seeing my side of the family as well this weekend. Whoa! Pichu is extremely weak. <laughs> that was a single quick attack. That is insane. Um, so here on this route, I don't really know what you can run into in the grass. Um, oh, this might be a good time to use the dowsing machine. Um, I kind of forgot that we had it, to be honest. Ah! So if I go over one, two, three, four, and down one, another great ball, how about that? Lovely, okay. Here we got a fisher, a uh, fisherman. Um, oh wait, yes, okay, so I thought this was a battle, but this is actually where you get the good rod in this game. Um, no, uh, you don't have to explain a fishing rod. From what I understand, there's not really any Pokemon in this game that I'm dying to catch with a fishing rod. Um, we'll get breakfast and Pikachu this battle. A nice double bat. Oh! There is one new, like, fish Pokemon, um, but we'll see them a little later. Um, we're just gonna use metronome. We're just gonna ride the lightning here, kids. Um, oh, Parish Song, my lord. Um, I probably shouldn't say ride the lightning. That's an old, that's an old phrase. Oh, Soundproof blocks Parish Song. That's crazy. Um, okay, cool. So, okay, I'm just gonna use Quick Attack there. Um, and then we'll just swap. Um, Gilbert, you can get in here. Get a little XP. We can get Feebas in this game, Brody. You're very right about that. Um, I'll show y'all where. I won't, I won't be getting Feebas again. I loved it last time, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that again. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just get Autumn. Oops. Uh, sure. Rock smash it. Why don't you? 
Ah, this pair of song count is going to go to one here. Ah, there we go. And the crit negates it. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you were right, Brody. I remember you saying that uh, Bidoof was about to evolve. So, Bidoof is a regular normal type, like most of the early, like, rodent Pokemon that you encounter. But, the barrel is the new evolution, and it actually gains the water type. So it's a normal water type, which, you know, it's a beaver. It makes sense. Hmm. And there's water gun. Yes, um, for now, I uh, will forget Fence Girl. Um, let's see. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to show everybody just all the different things, all the different avenues you can take, even if I personally am taking a different path. Um, let's pop over here. Ooh, here are some Lepa Berries. I remember we were wanting some Lepa Berries. Um, last episode, and if you recall, Lepa Berries are the berries that will heal power points. Oops. So we got this guy running back and forth. Oops. Do you jog every morning? Well, I do. Ah, uh, yes. I remember, this is so funny. You have this person dressed like a Pikachu here, but there's a little item there in the corner. I was just like, oh, I need Surf for this. But you could always just go right there and there's just that secret little pathway that I did not know about when I first played this game, and it really annoyed me, but there it is. Um, <laughs> good, Cry, I appreciate that. Um, uh, yes, this is a Pikachu trainer. So we'll do Pikachu v Pikachu, but let me, not awakening, excuse me. We'll fight you with Eevee. Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, you're not. You're a child, dressed like a Pikachu. And she has but one little Pichu. And there's one quick attack and it is defeated. Easy as pie. Um, this guy might battle us. No, he's still just jogging. These joggers are not, uh, not here to battle. All right. So this is a really important little spot. This is a broken, crumbling tower made of stone. There seems to be a spot where the odd keystone would fit. If you remember, there was this guy kind of like hiding in the corner on one of the routes who gave us the odd keystone. He's like, get it away from me. So what you want to do with this odd keystone is you put it in the tower and then you have to do a whole bunch of like underground shenanigans that we're not gonna do. But that is how you get a new Pokemon in this game called Spiritomb. We will encounter Spiritomb later, but we probably won't be catching it here. So I just pushed the odd keystone in. The stone tower has been restored. Hollowed tower is written on it. So how cute. Um, um, no, we're not doing Spiritomb. Oh yeah, <laughs> I answered your question. Yeah, we're not gonna do Spiritomb. Um, it involves doing stuff in the underground, I believe with like, online stuff and kind of like online co-op stuff like you have to talk to people in the underground i'm pretty sure like you have to talk to a certain amount of people um and then that's how you obtain spiritomb from the uh the odd keystone the hollow tower um and i mean you know anybody who knows more than me can fact check me on that but it's something like that um Let's see. So we just got a few more just normal little fights. We got these baby Pokemon. This is like the this is like the route of the baby Pokemon. Um, Eevee, let's use I will just use Autumn. <laughs> a lot of Eevees too over here. Mime Jr. Lovely. Um, another baby. We'll use, we'll use uh, Eevee again. Um, again, I'm so happy that it is the weekend. And I know that is not a novel concept, but I really, really am. 
Um, okay, so we got a couple more berries here. Ah, yes, you're right. We haven't been fighting Eevees, we've been fighting Pikachus. Um, I think there's an item right there. Yes, there is. It's a Stardust. Ziggy Stardust. Um, great. Oops, there we go. Um, yes. There's a little puzzle back here. Not really a puzzle, but a little bit of bike maneuvering. So we get to that there. Calcium. Ooh, we'll definitely use that on somebody. Um, all right, so we are going to use this calcium, actually. We're going to use it on our friend Pikachu. This actually might give you a little bit of a hint on what we are going to evolve Pikachu into. Um, let's see. Yeah, I want to keep you guessing. Um, Ponyta. Oh yeah, that'll, still, that'll do a lot. Um, yes, we're not super great against fire types. Inclusion is always just lovely to have. Staravia in this game is just like... Whoa, unless it gets a crazy crit. Um, Staravia is just mega solid. Mega solid Pokemon. Alright, there we go. Um, okay... Uh, one thing about this game, I don't love the bike music. It's not my fave. I feel like there's there's better bike music out there. Oh, Steel Wing. We have been getting some lovely TMs in this, in this uh, episode. It's going to evolve into Raichu, obviously. You're so right. I'm going to use that Thunderstone. So this is where departed Pokemon sleep. This is the Lost Tower. We're not going to hop in there just yet. Um, we're gonna be over here first. Um, let me do this. I'll just use another potion. Oh wow, it was perfectly 20 points. Um, Staravia being gone is a-okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, so we'll hop into the Lost Tower, um, later in the episode, maybe next episode. But we're gonna fight this double battle. Ah, oh, you're not supposed to intrude on my time with Sue. Um, so these, they're like little lovers. What are they called? See, they're so cute. They're challenged by a young couple, Ty and Sue. They're so in love. Um, and they have a weasel and a Baneri. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like that. Let's see. We'll sweet kiss you. We'll just keep quick attacking this here, Baneri. Oh, boy. We don't love the jump kick. Let's see if we can get a crit, or maybe it won't use it again. And it did. Pikachu died. How sad. Ooh, Ice Shard! There you go, breakfast. A little too late, but, you know, we'll take it. Um, and But that's fine. Skitter will avenge our friend Dragon Claw. There we go, breakfast. The metronome is working. All right. No big deal. And again, as you can see, our Eevee, I let faint. Ooh, our rival. Yahoo! What does he have to say? Hey, SCG, I got something cool. I'll show you as a special favor. Um... What's this all about? I got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. Okay. Um, so he's telling us to check out the ruins too. And there we can find the TM or HM rather for defog. Um, and we just got to Selassian town. Um, and here we're going to be able to see those uh, Selassian ruins that everyone's been chattering about. Um, but first we're going to heal the squad because we are, not doing too hot right now. Um, so, here in Selassian Town, this is where you can find the daycare. As you can see, we got some Pokemon running around. You got Baneri and Pachirisu. Um, and that's where you go in there. But the ruins are going to be over here. We're actually going to 
hop down these uh, ledges at different times. It's a lot like the route that goes from Blackthorn City um, back to New Barktown in the Generation 2 games, where if you want to kind of explore all the areas here, you have to go uh, jump down, excuse me, jump down the slopes multiple times. Um, so here's this house. I feel like there is something special in one of these houses. Ah, so this lady gives us a seal case. And here, the seal case I was talking about, um, seals are things that go on your Pokeballs. So if you put these seals on your Pokeballs, you can have a special effect pop up when you um, uh, throw out your Pokeball. So it can add a little extra flair. Maybe I'll try to figure out how to actually do it in this game, um, in this playthrough. Um, ah, if you can give me Pokemon that look like letters, I'll give you some seals. Hmm, I wonder where we've seen that before. Um, okay, again, I gotta grab that item, sorry. I'm going around again. I think I'm gonna, I think I have to go around two more times. There's this. A PowerPoint up. I like I like that. I like that. Alright. One last time. Was there an item there? Yes, there is. A big mushroom. Lovely. We can sell that. Okay. So here is the entrance to the Solassian Ruins. Let me... use a repel for now. I will show you a little bit later. Here are the Solassian Ruins. So what we need to do is we need to find some items in here. And this actually says the route that we need to take to get to the item that we want. However, we are going to explore the whole cave. So here it says top right, lower left, top right, top left, top left, lower left. And those are all of the stairs that we need to take to get to the spot where the items are. Um, and it's written in the unknown language, which we love. Love the Selassian Ruins. Um, I know, they are hyping something for Gen 2, Brody. What do you know? So here, if you take the wrong path, you just have these little rooms where you can find like a little stone or something. Or an item. Like, here's a fire stone. That's really good to find. If you're trying to evolve a Pokemon, that evolves via Firestone. Um, does this guy fight us? Ah, yes. He's talking about how the hidden machine Defog is here. All right. Not that. Okay, no item there. And, you know, it's pretty easy to get to find what you need to find here if you just kind of deduce your way through. Um, so let's see. So let's fight this week. Um, uh, yes. This fool and his foolish little geodude thinking he can win. Ah, Breakfast wants to learn Follow Me. I don't care about Follow Me. I don't know if that's a move that we've encountered yet. Um, follow Me is a move that if you use it, it makes the next attack hit you. Um, it's really useful in like a double battle if you have a Pokemon on your side of the field that you don't want to die or get hit. So you can draw the attack to yourself. Um, let's see, this will be a little better. You know, Skitter is just a really nice Pokemon to have as a check to, like, water types that we might run into. Um, it's not terribly strong, but that Spark, if we run into, like, a bird Pokemon or a water Pokemon, we are sitting pretty with Skitter helping us out. All right, lovely. So let's pop through here. Um, yes, there's a Water Stone. 
So it's nice to find a fire stone and a water stone. I think we'll find a thunder stone as well um, here in the Selassian ruins. Um, let's see. Yes, there's only two options here. Um, I'm pretty sure, yes. And there's that Thunderstone. Um, so this is a great portion of the game where you kind of get, not kind of, you do get all three um, of those evolu evolution stones. Uh, do you get a leaf stone here too? I don't know. Maybe, we'll see. Um, all right, that's where we want to be. Hold on. Anything there? Okay, no leaf stone. You just get the three um, fire, water, and thunder stones. Leaf stone has always been kind of like the ugly child there. Ah, yes! Our repels effect wore off, so now we have an unknown. So you can catch all kinds of unknown here in the Selassian ruins. It's kind of like the ruins of Alf um, in Generation 2. So let's pick up these items. A mind plate. Um... The power of defeated giants infuses this plate. Very cool. Um, so what the uh, mind plate does is it increases the power of psychic type moves, um, which we could use later. And here's that HM for defog, which we definitely need. And here is a nugget. So you have a nice little treasure trove down here in the uh, basement of the Selassian ruins. But I really like what it says here on the wall. Friendship. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. It's just lovely. I just love little things like that in these games. They don't really explain them, but it's just delightful and just kind of creates a world of like who made these markings, like what all is it about, but really cool. I like that a lot. All right, but let's get out. Let's get out of here. Um, let's see, how did we even come? <laughs> um, all right, I think that's right. I could use an escape rope, but I think I remember. Yeah, we came this way. There we go, I remembered. Lovely. Um, okay. Be -do 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 -do. One thing I am going to do is we are going to evolve our friend Pikachu. I've been teasing this for a while, but we got the Fire Stone, the Water Stone, and the Thunder Stone. And you might be wondering what we are going to evolve our Eevee into. And you might be thinking, hey Trent, why don't you evolve Eevee into one of the new Gen 4 Eeveelutions that they uh, created in these games? And to that I say, because uh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> this is uh, going to fit better on our team that I have come up with. So, we're not it's not the Firestone. It's the Water or the Thunder. What do we think? Am I doing Water or Thunderstone? I am going to pick... You're right, Cry! It's the Water Stone! Yes! Lovely. We are evolving our Eevee into Vaporeon. I love Vaporeon. Um, we have used... So, okay, I gotta keep this in mind now. Um, so next game we play, I'm not gonna use an Eevee. Because we have used an Eevee in three out of our four playthroughs. That's funny. Um, uh, so here we have Vaporeon. Pikachu the Vaporeon. Look at that. HP 103. Let's go. The water absorbability. Very, very good. Right now, it only has Tackle and Quick Attack. 
I don't think we have any uh, TMs that it can learn at the time, uh, for the time being. I mean, Earthquake's amazing, but... Yeah, nothing that I'm really dying to teach it. I will teach Defog to somebody. I can teach Defog to our friend Inclusion here. So that's gonna come in handy, but posture is horrendous, okay. We'll get rid of Endeavor. I don't care about Endeavor that much. I don't usually find myself using it. So, um, Vaporeon's gonna get a water move at some point here in the near future, but um, until then, we're just gonna be rocking with Quick Attack and a really, really bulky <laughs> uh, water type. Um, let's see, do I have any moves for normal type moves? Any items, rather? Be -do, 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 do Um, I'll sell some of this stuff off while I'm thinking about it. I got the nugget and the big mushroom. Nugget, great. Big mushroom. And stardust. It's so interesting, because you get two different items, the Odd Incense and the Mind Plate. They both increase Psychic-type moves. So I hope I can get a Psychic-type move here soon. Um, but, folks, with that, I'm actually going to call it here. Um, this has been a delightful episode. I've really enjoyed kind of um, exploring some of the side quests that we've been able to unlock thus far. I really liked going through Wayward Cave. We found our Gibble. We found Mira. It was lovely, um, made our way to the Selassian Ruins, and finally got another team member solidified. We have our Vaporeon, um, we're ready to go there. So, um, folks, I hope you have an amazing weekend. Um, I probably will not see you on Saturday, which is another reason, or tomorrow, um, which is another reason why I wanted to stream here on a Friday night, which I don't usually do. But, um, but yeah. It, uh, it has been great to be with you tonight. It has kind of lifted my mood um, a little bit, so I really appreciate that. On Monday, we are starting a new game. We're going to get a new game in that kind of bi-weekly Yu-Gi-Oh slot, and you're probably not going to see it coming, and I'm excited about that. Um, but anyway, I really appreciate you being here, and uh, you know... I will see you all next time. Peace out, kiddos.